We are beginning this week waiting and watching for what special counsel Jack Smith does next in the investigation into former President Donald Trump's efforts to overturn the 2020 election. About a week ago, Trump confirmed he was a target in Smith's election interference probe. And while we wait for news of a possible third Trump indictment, we're getting a clearer picture of the scope of the investigations. The New, York, the New York Times now reporting the Justice Department has been pouring resources into the Trump investigations and the special counsel is now on track to spend a total of $20, $25 million in a year. But the Times adds that includes the cost of protecting the staff that are carrying out the investigations. What was most fascinating and kind of most disturbing is that 1.9 million of that money went to paying uh, the U.S. Marshals to protect Jack Smith, his family, and prosecutors uh, working on the case, many of whom uh, have been name-checked on social media by Donald Trump and his supporters. People went out of the way to tell me that that number uh, was rising rapidly as the number of threats were increasing. Sources mm -hmm. tell us that the effort to protect Smith is really something that we have not seen before. Almost $2 million to protect the Department of Justice to make sure they are not harmed during this investigation. That is something. Meanwhile, former NYPD Commissioner Bernard Carrick, you remember him, who worked with Rudy Giuliani to uncover what was alleged voter fraud, has now turned over thousands of pages of documents to Jack Smith's office. And tonight, former Trump Justice Department official Richard Donahue told NBC he has spoken to the special counsel's office. Last year, he told the January 6th committee about Trump's efforts to push DOJ officials into helping him overturn the results of the election. Smith's prosecutors have also been in touch with Georgia's Republican governor, Brian Kemp. You recall, shortly after the election, Trump called the governor and tried to pressure him to overturn Biden's victory in that state. There's also news about Trump's final chief of staff, Mark Meadows. Meadows reportedly took part in that infamous phone call to Georgia's top election official in which the former president asked that official to, quote, find some 11,000 votes. The Washington Post reporting federal prosecutors have been focusing on a text message Meadows sent in which he mocks the baseless claim that large numbers of votes were fraudulently cast in the names of dead people. That was one of the many false claims Trump said over and over about the 2020 election. And just a reminder, for fact's sake, there was no capital N, capital O, evidence of widespread voter fraud of any kind in the 2020 election.